such a nice floater you got there? I know, he's my best friend. This is Joffrey. Oh, yeah. Joffrey. Yeah, I'm his sidekick. He's so cool, man. Came right all on. the way from South America just to party with you guys. Right on. Isn't that right, Joffrey? See, man, he's so cool, dude. <laughs> Hi everyone, Chris and Marina here and welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that button right there in the corner. We really appreciate it. We are here at Knott's Berry Farm. It's been a good three Almost, weeks yeah, or so. Yeah, about, it's been quite some time actually. Yep. One, we haven't been here because school's out. The crowds are like really crazy. Getting a reservation on a Saturday or anytime during the weekend. It's kind tough. of hard, yep. and it's been really hot. It's been very, very hot. And we've done some other events you've seen in the other videos as well. Yep. But we're back. <laughs> we can't wait to see if anything has changed. It's actually a little bit cooler tonight, yes. so we kind of lucked out, I think. But yeah, we're pretty excited. So we invite you to join us on this episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles. Joe's here. Oh, he is. Hi there. Hi, Joe. How are you today? Hi, how are you all doing? We're good. So I have a question for you. Sure thing. Go right ahead. Okay, so I hear right around the corner there's a place that sells this super fun bun. Have you heard anything about it? Oh, I have heard it. I haven't had it, but I've heard about it. What, what have you heard? Is it good? Is heard it, it was real good. <laughs> so good. Not just good, but good. Good, yes. <laughs> well, maybe we should uh, see what it's all about and well, we'll, bring we'll bring you a slice. All right, well, I guess we're going to go check it out. So, after talking to Sad Eye Joe, we made the decision to head on over to the Ghost Town Grub and order one of those super fun buns. He said he heard it's good. He's never had it, but everybody says it's fantastic, so we're going to do it. You'll see it in just a moment. It's going to be fantastic. What can I get for you? Oh, uh, can we get the super fun bun? Okay. Would that be it for you today? Uh, that's it. I have one. You happen to have a season pass? I do. Okay, just go ahead and scan it when you're ready. Okay. Super fun bun, enjoy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> it's supposed to feed 46 people. <laughs> and it's just Chris and I. So uh, we're going to need some help. But before we get some help, Let's get some uh, utensils so we can find a place to eat this monster. I can do this. <laughs> I think I can handle this. The funny part is I think I'm gonna go for the leg first. I don't know if you saw that edge piece or that machine. I'm gonna go for the leg first. <laughs> then we'll go for the uh, for the body. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> this is huge, huge. Yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna get into this, but um, we're gonna give it an old shot right now. All right, so I'm gonna go for the leg first, or whatever this is. This looks like it's completely made out of funnel cake batter, but it's got some boysenberry sauce on it. That's delicious. So this just straight up tastes like funnel cake with boysenberry uh, fruit topping on top of it. It's great. All right, so I've got my utensils out. I'm gonna dig into this thing, try to get to the cinnamon roll part. There we go. So now you can see the funnel cake on the outer edge. You can see cinnamon roll. You can see some icing drizzled inside of it, along with the more funnel cake and boysenberry. I'm gonna cut this one more time. This is a really big piece I cut out. That's really good. I know this is gonna sound basic, but it tastes like funnel cake and cinnamon roll and boysenberry. But you can actually definitely taste the icing along with the cinnamon and the funnel cake. This is really good. They should make this a smaller version of this rather than this giant version. Obviously, you've got a lot of people. This makes more sense. And of course, it's meant to be ridiculous. But this tastes really good. I would actually get this again if we had a larger group of people. Yeah. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous all over it. I've heard nothing but great things about it, but we'll see, right? Dig into this. Mm. This is really good. I expected it to be really sugary and sweet, but it's not. Um, 
got cinnamon in there. You taste it right off. So that cinnamon bun comes through. Um, the sweetness from the syrup, of course, is there. This is really moist. I expected because I expected it to be dried out because it's four cinnamon buns that have already been cooked, battered and deep fried, and just like a double cooking it's gonna dry it out of course but it's not and it's super flaky um this is just amazing who would have guessed that they would have made it so well here at a theme park all right so this is what i was able to get through now it's marina's turn just kidding this is what we were able to get through as as uh, both of us we got about halfway through all of it it really tastes good it's sweet it's crunchy, yeah, it's got lots of different textures. It's a really, really good dessert. Looks like the train is down for a little bit. They said it'd be back up and running at 8.05, which is just a little bit from now. Nailed it. <laughs> wow. And that is how it's done. for Knott's Berry Tales, comes all the way to the floor level, goes up, but does not go into the room over there, but just circles back around up to the entrance to the ride. So not too bad. So here they actually have one of the original Wacky Soapbox racers that looks like they actually rescued it from the desert. There's a little sign here that talks about in fact, they rescued in the desert, they restored it all, and brought it back here for the merchandise store underneath Knott's Berry Tales. It looks fantastic. You can see they actually uh, covered up where you sit so they can have more merchandise. But very cool that they were able to bring this back to life. So we had hoped to get on a couple rides tonight. Wheeler Dealer is usually a ride that doesn't have like a long line, but not tonight. Tonight, there is quite the line. And they're off. These people are horrible drivers. It could be because there's no like arrows on the road, there's no lines. And then you have like a five-year-old driving. Yeah, don't you need a license? Can I see your insurance card? Oh, oh wow. You just saw the big old thing of water come splashing over there. Almost a two. Oh. Oh, they just got a whole mess of water. You can see it sloshing around on the boat. Here comes another group. Are they going to get it? Oh, somebody spared them. A little late there on the plunger, buddy. Timing is everything. So we're here at the pressed penny corner and you'll see some of the uh, penny designs are from old rides. Here we have the boomerang. 
here we have some of the designs that are like from Scary Farm from 1995 and 1998. This one has a blank. So we were trying to find a penny to see if it was a mystery design or if it actually just came up blank. But pennies are hard to come by nowadays. So we, uh, we couldn't get this one, but you'll see a whole bunch of others from past rides. Like even here you have Bigfoot Rapids, which that ride has now been renamed to the Calico Rapids. But if you're a Press Penny fan, this is the place that you need to come. Grab that Press Penny to add it to your collection. Chris has decided he was gonna get a Press Penny. Which one are you getting, Chris? I'm gonna get the one that's blank. <laughs> to see if it's a mystery penny or if it actually is truly blank. That would be kind of weird to have a completely smooth penny, but we'll see what happens. All right. Wait, we actually can't drive. Are you going to get a blank one? We can't drive it no more. There's something there. I think. Nope, it just released it. It looks like there's a design. It is oh. Coast Rider. Coast the kid, Rider? Yeah, the kids' version. So there is something there. Huh. Let me do the. Oh, I don't think I have another. All right, so if you come to this press penny machine and it says on uh, button number A, it looks like it's completely blank, so it should be a smooth penny. It's actually for Coast Rider. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> All right, so over here in front of hang time, pay our respects. If you're not aware, the ride's been sick for quite some time, and it might take a long time to, you know, to make that recovery. We heard it needs some kind of transplant, and you know how it can take a long time, you know, to find a suitable donor. So we wanted to come by and give it our well wishes, and hope we hope it a speedy recovery. Speedy recovery, hang time. We hope to see you soon. near uh, Boardwalk Barbecue. The Boardwalk Barbecue here. You can see there's a line all the way over here near some of the games. And we believe this is the line to get some funnel cake. It is about that time of night where everybody wants their dessert. <laughs> yeah. All for fried dough, powdered sugar, and some fruit topping. Good to be in the funnel cake business. <laughs> wow. Transitioning over here for the log ride. You can see the line here is very healthy as well. Look how big this line is here for the log ride. But you know what doesn't have a long line is the line for Panda. And we're getting in it right now.
even at 10 p.m. at night on a Saturday night, you can see Camp Snoopy is very busy. Lots of families, lots of kids. Yeah, everybody's having a great time here, even on a late Saturday night. We're here at the Huff and Puff ride, the ride that makes you work to have fun. Come on there in front, no free rides. No free rides. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Life is not this easy. Hi. You're getting all this help from behind you. Which one are you gonna get? <laughs> Woodstock, of course, who's our you, favorite character. Well, you got the best one. Yeah. You're a winner. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. All right, we got Woodstock here chilling in front of a waterfall. Seems like a pretty happy bird. Look at that. Snoopy and three Woodstocks. He wants to go in the boat too. He wants to go in the boat too. All right, so we're on our way out. We had a great time. <laughs> the park, the big difference from the last time, it's much, much busier. Very busy. Everybody looks like they're having a great time. Uh, the lines were really long for both food as well as for the rides. Yeah. But it's like being in the park two years ago. It's actually a really good thing to see. We ate our super fun bun. We had some uh, Panda Express. And uh, now we're headed home. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like and please subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out. And until next time, we'll see you on the next episode of The Walker Chronicles.